What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is MC Dilbs coming at you today with some Tottenham Hotspur career mode, Spurs career mode and in this episode we play Arsenal and Queen's Park Ranger, Queen's, Queen's Park Rangers QPR obviously looking for a win especially with the Arsenal game because obviously um, as you may know if you're quite a big football fan or whatever and you support you might even support one of these teams I mean I'm not sure I'm not sure about what, what who you guys support or whether you even like football but anyway uh, moving on it's a North London derby Arsenal and Tottenham like it's a derby you have like Merseyside derby Liverpool and Everton um, a massive derby, Manchester United and Liverpool, who are really big rivals and all that. And uh, is it Newcastle and Sunderland? Don't like each other either, so... But anyway, um, we managed to pick up a great goal there from uh, Dawson, coming from his wonderful header. He put so much power behind that header, managed to just bury it into the net, and it was a great goal. Really... Um, Really good goal from Dawson. It was a great cross in from um, Bale. But anyway, moving on. A great tackle there. But unfortunately, Walcott does pick it up. Tries to finesse it. And the Sante Cazorla just finishes off the rebound. Smashing it straight past the goalkeeper. And puts one all just before half time. Which, um, of course, is... Um, it's um, I don't know how to say it. But anyway, moving on. Great. Once again, that was a pretty good goal from Sante Cazorla managing to get that rebound. As the, as managers always say to football players, follow the ball in. You know, because if there's a rebound, then you can just smash it in. You know, and the goalkeeper won't have any chance. But Sturridge there, once again, proving why I signed him. Fantastic. That's six games in. Um, what do I mean? Sorry, wrong way around. Six goals in four games, which is pretty outstanding, I must say. So that puts us 2-1 up, has a lovely hit there from Podolski, but look Hugo Lloris, world class goalkeeper, manages to save that. And as you saw there guys, I did switch to the goalkeeper because I found out if you press if you press select, then um it changed it, you can actually control the goalkeeper, so didn't know about that, but uh if it, it's actually a little tip for you guys. <coughs> but they did equalise there. I can't believe Pogba didn't stick his foot out. I mean, look at that. All he had to do was stick his foot out and he would have saved it. But put Bale there. He, he's... Oops. <laughs> Ow, that hurt. I <laughs> just whacked my knee on my desk. He he's, he is a good player. But he, he is on a bit of a duck at the moment. And a duck means that he's not scoring. He's not scoring that much. Well, you know, he's not scoring that much. Whatever you want to say. But anyway, Bale here. Look at that little fake shot. Lovely skill. That that's just nice. That's just very nice. Um, this is anyway. There's a uh, lovely chance here from Giroud, and he manages to finish it off. Giroud is a pretty decent player, I must admit. He's a great player. He's not the paciest, is he? But he is pretty decent, to be honest. He's one of Arsenal's top scorer, and I'm not surprised. He's got great left foot on him. I'm not sure about his weak foot. I don't know what his weak foot's like, but moving on. It did go into extra time, and unfortunately we do lose. And that, and at that point I was raging at Paul Pogba, because if he had just stuck his leg out. But as you know, the artificial intelligence, the human intelligence, uh, um, I should say, on uh, FIFA 13, or any FIFA, isn't good. <laughs> so they are improving that on FIFA 14. I believe they are going to, you know... But our next match is against Queen's Park Rangers. Obviously looking for a win because they are they're in the bottom half of the table and we're in the top half of the table. Still gutted about that defeat by Arsenal, I reckon all those players are. But there's not really much you can do. I mean you win as a manager you win some, you lose some. Can't really uh say anything, can you? But anyway, moving on. A lovely strike there from Adebayor and Sturridge gets in the way. Flipping storage, getting in the way. Oh, so annoying. But storage there with a lovely little strike. Um, and yeah. Still nil nil. Nice little corner here. Fortunately, <laughs> Dembele does actually head of that in, but it was called uh, for off handball, handball or offside. No, it was handball, I think. 
So I was quite annoyed at that because that would have been a goal. But I think if it wasn't handball, then the goalkeeper may have got to it. But still, it would have been great if that was a goal. Try to sweat it here, but I was held back by the QPR def well, uh, Adebayo was held back by the QPR defender, which was extremely annoying. But QPR breaking through here, you would have expected a player of Remy's quality. I mean, he used to play for Marseille, which is obviously a pretty big French side in uh, League One, Ligue One, however you pronounce it in French, whatever. You I don't know. But once again, Julio Cesar showing why he's a world class goalkeeper, getting down to that and saving it. But there was a handball involved, and Sturridge steps up to take the penalty. He's not going to miss, even though Julius Cesar could have just stuck out his uh, left hand and got to that. He didn't, which means that uh, that gives us a one, one nil, one goal advantage in the last ten minutes, which is a great time to score. Obviously, I bet QPR were like, "Yay, we're getting a draw!" And then Sturridge just goes, "No," and just you know. Completely obliterates it, but here, once again, Sturridge, look at that unreal pace that is, slotting it straight past Julius Caesar, tripping up on the celebration, but I don't think he really cares. Second goal, which gives him eight goals in four games, five, four or five games, he's scored in every single game he's played. I, I, and, and after he scored two, I was looking for a hat trick, but wasn't coming. And here, uh, Bale manages to break his duck. I bet that was a very happy moment for him because he hadn't scored in about three or four games, I think it was. But that was a class goal, well struck goal that was, straight into the bottom corner, and manages to break his duck, showing that he could still score and he still deserves to stay at this club. Quite late on, we do get this chance here. Dembele smashing it. It is saved by. Julius Cesar, he is a pretty good goalkeeper. As you may know, he does play for the Brazil international squad. And I can see why he's an extremely good goalkeeper. <clears throat> but anyway, um, it does end as 3-0. Look at that. <laughs> three three goals in the space of uh, six minutes, which is pretty decent. Sturridge getting man of the match. Well deserved that was by Sturridge. He played really well. And anyway, guys, thank you for watching. It's been it. MC Dilbs, goodbye. Um, so sorry about that, guys. Um, this has been MC Dilbs, and thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye.